Dear friends, if you are a successful parent or not, don't just pamper your children. Train them how to achieve and maintain that success so they don't grow up to ruin everything you worked hard for. And don't forget their morals too, because nobody knows tomorrow. Watching this story to the end will inspire you spiritually, financially and mentally. By Cobb Stories Miss Teresa, is breakfast about to get ready? My son is about to come back from jogging. Yes madam, it's almost ready. Thank you. You silly gate man. Why did you take long without opening for me the gate huh? I'm sorry sir please forgive me. Gosh. If it wasn't for the good pay, I would leave this job because of that boy. Welcome back son. How was the jogging? It was good mom. But I'm starving. Your breakfast is already served, thanks to Miss Teresa. You are welcome, Miranda. You have grown so much. Thank you, Sir Ken. You can just call me Ken. Not Sir. Especially while here. My young boss will take it otherwise. How? Don't mind. I know you have come to see your mother. She is in the kitchen. Thank you, Ken. Boss, I am your driver. You can't go out by yourself, sir. Do you I look like a child to you? No sir, but it is my duty to drive you wherever. Then stay in your lane. But sir, you can't go out alone, your father. I'm so fed up with you workers of this house. Can you imagine? That small master slapped me. What did you do? I was only trying to do my job. That small boy I saw growing up just slapped me. Sorry about that my friend. Maybe he is going through something. Let him take his problems the other side. Has he seen problems anyway? I don't know but... But maybe one fruit will calm me down. I knew that's why you came to the kitchen. Pick one, but forgive that boy. Hey, who are you and what are you doing here? Hi, my name is Miranda. Wanna join me? You seem crazy. In fact, you can eat whatever you like here. Because it looks like you have been starving for days. Are you insulting me? What if I am? You only know how to invade people's homes for food. I think you are the one who is crazy. Miranda, what are you saying? Teresa, get me a glass of coffee now. You. Now stay in your lane. Mom, that boy is so disrespectful. Just let it go. He must be having a personal problem that makes him so angry. He shouldn't involve us. Just let it go child. Dear friends, if you are a successful parent, don't just pamper your children. Train them how to achieve and maintain that success. Don't forget their morals too, because nobody knows tomorrow. By Cobb Stories. So Miranda, how was the food? I think I should be coming here every day mom. It was delicious. Please come and help me wash these dishes. My madam wants to see me. Is everything okay mom? Yes, she calls me all the time. Sweetheart. Our trip is this weekend. Should we go with Raphael? He could learn something. Gosh, he's so stubborn. What should we do then? Don't worry, he will come with us. Dad, you asked for me. We are going for a business trip. I'm sorry but I can't go with you guys. We have two days left to leave for the trip. I don't want to go to that trip. And I hope my father doesn't insist. Guess I should get some sleep now. Away from those foolish maids. Bye mom. Have a safe journey. Tell dad I will come with you next time. This car nearly knocked me over. You crazy old woman. Why are you careless on the road? I'm sorry my son, but... Son not. You are a stupid old woman. Why are you so ill-mannered young man? You were over speeding. In fact I should have knocked you over. I gotta go. <coughs> Why are these foolish maids screaming? All they do is disturb my peace. <coughs> What's going on? And why are you just seated? Ain't you supposed to be at the gate? Sir, your parents got an accident and they both died. Oh my god he has fainted. Hurry up, bring some water. Okay, please. 
You are welcome, sir. Thank you. I would like to see Mr. Raphael Anderson. Please come in. My name is Alex from the Bykov's Estates. Your father had many debts with us, and he requested us to take over his properties if he died without payment. What do you mean? I came to inform you that you need to get somewhere else to stay, because in five days, the council is coming to take over this property. I will take my leave, sir. Did you hear? We are going to be jobless in five days. Master's property is going to be taken. The wise person vacates now. But we need to first be there for this boy. He is going through a lot now. Well, you can stay. But me and the gateman are leaving. To look for other jobs. Halo it's Raphael. You were good friends with my dad and he helped you a lot when he was still alive. I need your help with where to stay. Sorry but I can't help you. We have less space here, and my children may learn your character. My father helped you. Goodbye. Raphael, I know my place may not be very comfortable, but you can come and stay with us please. Why are you doing this? Why are you being nice to me after how I treated you guys? I have a daughter almost your age. And I wouldn't wish her to go through what you are going through now. Everyone you knew has abandoned you. Thank you so much. Mom, what is that arrogant boy doing here, with his boxes? He is going to stay with us for a while, until he gets somewhere. But, we have just one bedroom. And a living room. We have one washroom too, and it's right here in our bedroom. Don't worry, I will tell him to find a way to get along. Why are you just seated? You should sweep and clean the living room, I'm going to prepare breakfast. I don't know how to clean. What? You have to help me with chores around this house, if not I won't prepare breakfast. I'm human I get exhausted too. I can help you with that number. I don't think you understand this work. Well, the answer to number 3 is 316. Check the back page. Yes it is. You are correct. But, how do you know this? I thought rich kids don't even go to school. They only buy them certificates. I was actually in my final year at college, before my parents passed on. So sorry about that. Please help teach me the rest of these numbers. The deadline is tomorrow. Well, on one condition. And what's that? You have to teach me how to do house chores too. That's very easy for me. Let it be a deal. You teach me, I teach you. For this shop, mother always used her savings to invest in it. That's why it sustains us somehow, especially after she got jobless. It's a really a nice shop. You know, my mother used to tell me, the reason why some rich kids end up being poor, is that their parents never taught them how to manage what they have. All they do is to pamper them. And what's that supposed to mean? I mean, my mom wants you to be helping me here when I go to school, it could help you learn some skills too. Dear friends, if you are a successful parent, don't just pamper your children. Train them how to achieve, and maintain that success. You have done a great job with the compound. It looks neat. You should take some rest now. Thank you Miranda for everything. You are my new family, and I care about you so much with Auntie. I love you. We love you too. <sighs> are you alright? Is everything okay Raphael? Auntie it's Miranda. She fainted an ambulance took her to hospital. Oh no. Doctor my daughter has never fainted before, what's the problem with her please? The tests show your daughter is very okay, but we can't tell what happened to her. We are still trying, but include prayers for her please. I will tell my pastor to come too. But please keep trying she's the only child I've got in my old age. Dear friends, did you know that even when someone is in doctor's hands, they need mercy from above? So pray for people in hospitals too, including those at home. Conditions involving spiritual battles can only be saved by prayer. Thank you God, thank you Jesus. There's a problem, a problem that made your daughter to be in that condition. Pastor, what is it please? Please tell us pastor. That young lady is in that state, because of you Raphael. Your character. Pastor, what do you mean? 
I care about her a lot. Do you remember the old woman you insulted on the road, some time back? This car nearly knocked me over. You crazy old woman. Why are you careless on the road? I'm sorry my son, but... Son not. You are a stupid old woman. Why are you so ill-mannered young man? You were over speeding. In fact I should have knocked you over. I gotta go. Yes. I do remember that old woman. The old woman got so hurt with your harsh words that day, and she decided to curse you. She said whoever you love will die. That's why your parents died in an accident the day after you insulted her. Oh no. What should we do pastor please? No sin goes unpunished. And Raphael needs to genuinely go apologize to that old woman, in order to set Miranda free. But pastor, I don't know where the lady lives. It's unfortunate that she died. What? Was it because of me? What should I do to wake Miranda up? She didn't die because of you. However, the other option is that before 24 hours elapse. God told me Raphael, you must go to that exact place where you insulted that old woman, and apologies to her. And if you notice a sign while there, it means the woman has accepted your apology, and Miranda will wake up. Please forgive me old woman. I'm sorry for how I treated you that day. Only you God can save my daughter now. Help Raphael too to be forgiven. It's about midnight and no sign yet. Help save my children. Please forgive me dear old woman. I'm so sorry. Could this be the sign? <gasps> Miranda, you were awake. Mom, why am I in hospital? Thank you God, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you old, thank you old woman. Raphael, you are awake. I tried waking you and all you could say was thank you, thank you. Mom, you are alive, is dad okay? You are not dead. God forbid. What are you talking about son, we are all about to leave for a trip and all you talk about is death. Thank God it was just a dream. A dream. Mom, I want to go to the trip with you. And I want to learn all business tips. Has he woken up yet? That boy shouldn't get stubborn. This trip is good for him. Come see for yourself. He woke up from a dream, and he is acting different. He just hugged all the maids today. Sir, you just hugged me. Is everything okay? I got you some more cloths. Mine? Look, it may be difficult for you to forgive me. But I'm really sorry for everything I did to you. My mom will forever be the best cook. <laughs> Hum, I'm sorry for coming to your house again, I was about to leave. I only came to help my mom with something small. I would like to speak to you Miranda. You know my name. I know that. I have been mean to you both, but I'm asking for your forgiveness please. Please forgive me. You taught me that humility is a virtue. I never taught you anything like that though it's true. I would like to be your friend. Forgiveness is key. Kindly subscribe to Bicarb Stories. Thank you for watching, and God be with you all. Thank you so much.